Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, most of you will already know, but we are going to take a look at our budget for the month of November. So it's almost Christmas time, which is crazy considering, you know, how fast this year has gone. But yeah, I'm excited to see how our budget is gonna be going for November and then next month in December too. Now, I don't usually tend to wear hoodies like this when I am filming, but at the moment I feel like I'm coming down with something. So I'm really hoping it's all okay, but let's just take a look at my budget and remember that if you are interested in accessing my own budget template you can of course do that so with that it will include a net worth statement a sinking funds calculator so you can save up for stuff over time plus you have the choice of picking a monthly budget template or a weekly budget template so definitely check that out if you haven't already i will of course link that in the description below for you so without further ado let's have a look and see what's happening in the month of november so in terms of our total income in case you're new to my channel you might not know but essentially how we get paid is through my salary and then also my husband's salary so I earn just under 38,000 pounds a year which is around 48,000 US dollars and my husband earns just over that so we really do earn similar incomes and we do not actually earn big bucks but I do like to keep our total amount private the only thing that I would say that's slightly different this month is we actually took some money from our wedding gifts so if you didn't know we actually got married in September and of course that meant that we ended up having some monetary gifts which was really nice and the reason why we actually ended up taking some money out of our wedding gift pot is due to the fact that we actually ended up using our emergency fund last month now i did mention that in our october budget update video so definitely check that video out if you haven't already i will of course link that up here for you and in the description below but when we go into like the sinking funds and the budget in more detail i will explain that in a bit more detail but essentially our total income included both of our salaries plus the wedding gift money that we already had as well so moving over to savings and investments again this is something that we pretty much consistently do all the time so we currently have 1500 going towards our savings and that's for a property and then we have another 100 going into my husband's stocks and shares ISA so that's really how he invests in the stock market and then also another 100 into my business as well and if you didn't know I actually ended up launching my one-to-one -one program so that I can basically help women with their own personal finances as well so that's where some of this money actually has been going into in case you didn't know now you probably know it's really because I was working behind the scenes actually launching this program so if you do really want to learn more about my one-to-one -one coaching it's called Boss Finance Academy and so essentially what that program does is really help women to overcome things like overspending and being able to stick to their budget so that they can spend intentionally, save differently and actually start investing like a boss. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. I will of course leave a link in the description below for you. Plus feel free to DM me if you have any other questions on Instagram. But yeah, as always, I'm pretty happy that we have been able to put 1700 away towards our savings and investments. So let's of course move over to the essential bills. Now again, these essential bills are pretty much fixed costs in that they don't necessarily change very often so first of all you can see that we currently pay about 1050 towards rent and that is for a little cozy one bedroom flat in London because let me not lie London is not cheap so yeah that's always fun to actually pay out but it's still okay plus we've also got water so that comes to 50 electric and gas is 43 at the moment and then cancel tax is about 145 per month along with broadband is around 2960 and then we also also have iCloud which is 158 currently and then along with that we have our sim contract so my husband's sim contract is 12 and my own sim contract is 10 again we currently use Voxy where we get a certain amount of data but we also get endless social media data as well so definitely check Voxy out specifically if you are from the UK I will of course leave a link in the description below for you because we can both get vouchers if you decide to use that link and then with TV license again if you're new to my channel and you didn't know we actually pay for TV license annually and we'd already paid for TV license this year and we've already got money aside for next year as well so I'm very happy that we're pretty much prepared for that and then along with that we of course have our tithes charity and giving that is pretty much going to be paid out because we essentially treat it as an essential bill is really really important to us as people of faith so yeah you can see that our essential bills are pretty much the same as last month and then in terms of sinking funds so I have put our emergency fund in this category I was thinking oh should I put it into our savings because I used to actually put an emergency fund into the savings category the only reason why I did it is because this has pretty much been treated like an expense because we're having to pay back the emergency fund so I kind of I don't know from a mindset perspective I just wanted to leave it in sinking funds to say okay this is basically expense we've had to pay out so essentially the expense was around 70 so if you guys didn't know unfortunately when my husband was playing rugby he ended up hurting his eye had to go to hospital I explain it in the October budget video so just check that out if you want to but yeah he had to go to hospital and we basically 
basically had to go and pay for a lot of taxis to go and pick up the car and then realized that we couldn't pick up the car and then had to come home and all of that stuff and then also he had to actually go to hospital again and ended up getting prescribed things like eye drops and stuff so that meant we had to spend a bit more money so we ended up spending around 70 on that which obviously wasn't amazing but you know thank the lord my husband is all okay his eyes all okay but essentially that's why we ended up having to use our emergency fund and so as i always say it turned it into an inconvenience rather than a total disaster and then moving over to spending so in terms of petrol we have actually allocated 110 we did end up overspending last month i don't remember how much we overspent with that again watch the last video october video that i uploaded but we did end up overspending however we did end up having some money that basically helped us for the next week so i think 110 i mean fingers crossed it should be okay particularly because we're not going to be driving as much as we did last month so i'm really hoping that will be all fine but we will see and then moving over to groceries so we currently have allocated 136 towards groceries it was 170 last month because by the time we got paid it would have been five weeks whereas actually with this month we're going to be getting paid in the next four weeks so 136 made sense as it meant that we would allocate around 34 each week which is pretty much what we've actually been doing over the past couple of months so i'm hoping we can stick to that and that is all good i think i'll probably be doing more like grocery updates on my instagram story so definitely follow me on instagram if you haven't already because i think you guys actually liked it when i did that last month so yeah excited for that then moving over to toiletries again this is something that we ended up overspending with last month but we have still kept it as 30 this month because last month just a lot of things just basically finished and we ended up having to buy stuff so i'm hoping this month it will still be okay and then we've got another hundred to both of our spending so that's my spending and then my husband's spending and that is pretty much a hundred to just do what we essentially want to do with our money we can do anything we like i'm not sure if i have a lot of plans going out this month we'll see but you know 100 is there to be spent so looking forward to that and then another 70 allocated to date night again this is something where we have really really been trying to spend this money and we just have not been spending the full amount so this month guys hold me accountable we will spend this money i'm gonna make sure you know we go to a nice restaurant or do whatever we do it's going to be something worthwhile so yeah 70 has been allocated again we'll see at the end of the month whether we actually spend this 70 but i'm really hoping that we do because the money is there to be spent essentially so yeah we'll see with that after we've allocated another 40 to personal care again this is something that we always have been allocating money to it but we haven't necessarily been using it as much however this month we are actually going to be using that personal care money so i definitely think that 40 is going to be used this month and then we had some money left over so we've got around 15 that's been put away for miscellaneous and then after that we had like some small change left so of course we then put that towards our pennies jar and i think we've actually been putting pennies since we've got married i would say so yeah i'm pretty happy that we still have that but in total what you can see is that we have just over 600 for spending this month and then another 70 for sinking funds as well so again i like to just have a look at the summary and just see you know what's the percentage of our savings and investments versus our spending and things like that and how have we been doing on average and you can see just in terms of actually the spending we have been quite consistent i mean in august and september we definitely spent less compared to how we've been spending in october and even july but in november it pretty much seems like it's going to be in line hopefully we don't end up overspending this month but again we will see you never know with the summary what you can see is that we are currently putting away 41 percent on average this year towards our savings and investments our essential bills is around 43 percent but then also remembering that actually also includes our giving and our tithes and our charities as well in terms of that 43 percent and then also you can see about two percent has been allocated towards sinking funds we've not necessarily been putting too much money towards sinking funds a big reason for that is because we had the monetary gifts from the wedding which meant that we put a lot of that into our own sinking funds and also because i had already started doing a lot of sinking funds before i got married so yeah i'm pretty i'm one of those people where i absolutely love sinking funds honestly where my husband he's not necessarily a big fan but it's okay he's changing he's changing and then on average our spending comes to around 14 percent. so i guess you can actually see what we tend to prioritize when it comes to how we allocate our income so if you did like this video then please do give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and let me know in the comments how do you think your budget is going to go for the month of november i do post every tuesday and friday so if you would like to know more then of course you can subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys on friday